ിയോഗ്രാഫി ആർട്ട് uh workshop 2020 organized by velicham and uh, strive uk so uh, uh you know we you have some instructions i have some instructions for you so last time we had some time management issue so in order to uh, cope up that issue this time you know you will have only 5 minutes for uh, the review of your works you can show your works for 5 minutes uh uh rest of rest of you can uh, show your works in whatsapp and you will get the comment from that so this is because of our, our limitation in time don't mind please don't mind uh and uh, uh you will have some instructions uh, at the end regarding uh, our competition we are planning for a short competition a friendly competition after this session uh after that you will have some rewards inshallah for the first uh, prize winner so uh, nothing else so as we have done before you will have a break after 40 minutes and after that you will have 10 minutes break and we will continue our session inshallah so i hope everything is clear right do you have any questions shall we start now sessions Okay, now Mutasim, you can start. Okay, thank you, Khalil. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, actually, at the first, I want to ask uh, my friends, what is the kind or the style that we learn the last week before starting with the new styles? You know what's the style? Roka. Yes, yes. that's the first point we learn arruqa that's you ha- you have to know the name of each style that's the most important point okay so the next point what is the most important rule when you write in a, in all styles the most most important rule because this rule we we will apply it in all styles it's not just for a ruqa this rule for all styles which one you can write in the chat because if you if you can uh, let me say use this rule all styles will be easy inshallah guidelines another one mm, okay it's according yeah it's not just according to 45 degree it's not just this degree it's actually how to use the width of the pen when can i make 10 lines thick lines that's the the, the rule actually how can you control the width of pen that's the most important rule we will use it not just for a ruqa we will use it for diwani for a thuluth for nasakh for for all styles also for al kufi we will use this rule for all styles actually it's the most important and focus on this point while practicing because how can i control the width of the pen when can i make thick lines when can i make thin lines okay today actually we will learn uh, two styles inshallah the first one is a diwani uh, i will show you the letters i will explain to you how to make it then i will stop sharing and we will practice here okay 
let's start. Can you all see the screen? Just use chat to write if you see it or not. Okay. So here we have a Diwani. We make a brief, a historical brief in the first session about what is a Diwani. Uh, actually, it's a decorative type. And we use it, you, you, can, you can see this, a lot of curves. It's used for decorations and it's, let me say it's, yeah, it's decorative style. It's artistic. It's not used, it's not fu functional as a ruqa. A ruqa, it's a very uh, functional style. We don't need to use all these curves. Actually, in a diwani, we, we have to move, make this smooth curves while writing and at the same time the same thing we can see the number of movements how to make one or one two three like a roca you can see the mouse while okay like ha we can see the movement first movement second movement the third and fourth we have to focus and uh, you know here you can see the dashes from where you can start and where you can end the the each movement like one two from here up to here then, sorry okay okay the third movement from here up to here then the last movement here, okay. And as you see, we, we have two types of ha. The first one like this, without, without the circular part here. But the, the second one, it's, you know, it's like open circle, like this. And also for scene and sheen, we have two types, like this one, it's simple, but this one is much complicated and decorated, this one. You know, we have also uh, the, the guideline, we have to use the horizontal line to control where is the letter should be, above the line, under the line, between, in between, so also we have the rules, the same rules for all types. It's the guideline and how to control uh, the weight of pen. We can see here ba for ba and ta. You, you can see the beginning of the letter. It's wide. We have to use the weight of pen to make this thick line. But look at the end of the same letter, it's thin. So I have to control, and at the same time, you can see it's just by one movement. I no need to make it by two or three because it will not be smooth. So by one movement, you have to control the pen how to make two types of lines, thick and thin at the same time. And we learned that at the last time, and today I will uh, repeat it again. So do you have any question on, the, on this screen? Because we will stop sharing this screen and then we will start practicing on the paper. So do you have any question till now for, on this screen? Any question? I will see. No question? Okay. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, okay. So we say we have a smooth time, a decorative time. You know, the last time in Arroka, Alif, Alif, it was like this, right? You can see now Alif in by by one movement. Let we make it in different colors. Okay. Alif in Arroka, it was just by one movement, right? Today, just watch how we can make Alif. At the beginning, we have the first movement. I have to use this, the thin side of pen to make the first movement. Watch it. Okay. I made the first movement. I will show you the second and the third. That's Alif. You can see the difference between the first Arroka and Diwani. This at Diwani. You can see you can see that's a bit decorative. And we have another type of a Diwani. It's like I'm sorry, okay. Another type from a Diwani, it's called a Diwani Jelly. It's much decorative more than a Diwani, but let we say it's uh, another level. Let we start with basics and basic style, then we can start with sub styles. So that's a diwani. You can see Aleph uh, with the three movements. That's the first one, and this, the second one, then this the third one at the same time as we said you you know you can watch this this thin then we start with a thick line in the second moment and then we finished with thin line so that's the most important point how to control the width of pen you know, now we can write the second letter. Let me start with Ba in Arroka. Right? Is it like this or not? That's in Arroka. Now we can see it in Adiwani. Let's make it in different color. Adiwani, you can see. totally different and we use it for uh, for uh, not just for ba we can use it as ta tha, okay because they have the same shape so uh, that's you can see the difference ruqa it's functional type no need for decoration a lot of decoration but at Diwani, you know, it's decorative styles. They're using an Ottoman Empire for Diwans. That's why it's called this style Diwani, because it's more decorative style. You can see here, okay, here we started with white shape here. We start. We we finished the shape with thin line, and if you notice that I I, I wrote it by one line with, with with one movement. No need to make it any three or two. Like okay, I will try to do it in another movement like this. Then start to make another one. You know, you will have this problems like this. So start. Try to make it by one movement like this okay but some uh, like elif we have a uh, more one line like one two 
and the three, okay, it, it's it's need more, more one movement, but here in ba, just by one movement to make it smooth, okay? Then we have to write another letters, like, okay, ha. Actually, every time I will uh, write in ruqa, then I will write in a diwani and then you can uh, let me say uh, find the difference between each one now ha in a diwani okay you got the point how it's small you know it's it's smoother than a ruqa and it's more decorative than a ruqa that's the point and you can you can see also in a diwani it's a uh, important point we have a lot of thin lines at the end in a diwani but in a ruqa we can see alif we don't focus a lot on the thin lines we, we can use it just this roughly lines you can see ba okay but at the end little bit here okay but you can see ha we don't need but in a diwani you can see the end in ba you know here here you know in alif we use it here it's a very important point, this the thin lines. Uh, before, before completing, do you have any problem or question till now? I will open the chat to see your comments. Do you have any problem, any question till now? You cannot, don't be shy, you can ask anything. Everything is clear? Yes or no? Because you wrote yes, then no. It's clear or not? You can ask. Everything is clear. Okay, thank you. Okay. Ibrahim also said everything is clear. Okay, okay. Do we have two different types, Alif, as shown in the previous slide? No, 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 no not, not two types of Alif. It's Alif and Lam. They, they wrote the uh, letters in, uh, not in order. It's according to shape. They, they wrote it in the slide according to shape, not according to order, alphabet order, like Alif, Ba, Ta, Ta, No, according to shape. They wrote alif, then lam because it's similar according to shape, then ba, ta, then they wrote noon. It's not according to order, but it's according to shape. Okay. Any other question? Okay. Can you show alif? You need, you need the slide or because I wrote the alif in here in the paper to, uh, in, in Ruqa and in Diwani, I wrote it. You need to, sh to see it from slide for Hibas and Hazik. Do you need to see this slide? How to write in Diwani, I wrote it. You can see here, this one in a Diwani, this one in a Ruqa. Okay, this one in a ruqa I wrote it to make a let me say to see the difference between a ruqa and a diwani. You can see diwani here, this one a diwani. Okay, if you need, I will share the screen again one more time, please. Okay, okay, I will write it. Okay, okay. now. 
again we can write alif again you can see we said we have uh, at the beginning watch my hand i will make this first moment the second okay you got it or not we we have here the first movement okay you are welcome that's the first movement then that's the second one make the scale and the last one is how to finish the form with a thin line that's the third one is that alif yes it's that's alif you know it's if we can analyze the shape you know it's according to normal alif okay but as we said because the one it's a decorative style the creative type we use just like make something like this for it if we analyze the shape but according to modifications they use to make this thin because it will not be nice if it's thick like this so start to refine shapes by make this okay then they use to make this decorative type like this that's alif but you know in the last time i make mistake i want to test you what is the problem here okay i will open the chat to see your comments okay what is the problem and the last one you can write on the chat be active write write your comment your opinion no no problem you can write anything the first line is too thick this one no it's not according to this just ibrahim brought you can write all of uh, all of you you can write your comment your opinion the weights between the first movement yeah 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 okay this this one okay the first you can see it it should be like this and the curve i made the curve here but it should be here do you notice that i made it the curve at the end it should be from here at the beginning of writing okay uh, no more comments okay let's we complete our lesson okay and another shapes as you remember seen in uh, a thruth. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Arroja. We was using uh, like this, right? But can you see in a Diwani? As we said, let me analyze the shape at the beginning. Look at this curve. Then from this point. It's like this sheen sheen or seen the same then we can to analyze where can I start with thin or thick if I see the shape I have to start from here with I will make okay this gold one is the thick then the blue one I will end with thin line okay 
I will start. Is it true or not? I will ask you. Okay, be active, please. You can you can write. You can write your opinions. It's interactive session. It's uh, not uh, a normal lecture by just saying and you listening. You can you can be active. You can write. You can write you, your comments. Okay, I I think today you are tired. Maybe <laughs> here I I made a problem, a mistake. Why? Because I I end with a thick shape. Okay, it should be thin. Yeah. Then I can use to make like this. That's thin, or could be sheen. Okay, sheen or sheen. Let's go to the next page. Okay. In the last ten minutes, for first before break, we we have a break. Okay, to take a rest. No, today we have just ten minutes to finish at Diwani, so you can write any question because after a break we will learn another type. It's a thuluth. So, as you as you can see, we almost have the same rules that we learned in the previous lecture. It's how to use the width of pen. How to use, you can use, because you know, for me, I don't use guideline because it's, by experience, no need to use it. But for you, you have to use it for the first two or three months while practicing, okay? And it's very important to control the proportions. But after, uh, let me say, two or three months of uh, practicing, you, you, you can write without guideline. But the most important point, how to use the width of pen. Okay, that's the most important point for all styles. Today, it's just but, but by practicing the letters for each style. If you can control the width of pen, I can write each, uh, all letters, okay? Like, okay, make it again. Now it's like this. Then it's seen or sheen. Okay. So you have to know how to control the weight of pen. That's the most important point. If you control the weight of pen, you can write, okay, Thulus, Diwani, Ruqa, because it's just by practicing. You know, I will write. It's that's the at D one. It's together. You can see here in L Elif. Sometimes we we wrote it like this. No need to make it till the end like this. It's up to you. You can wrote it like this or as the first step, as we say like this without touch the end here okay it's like this and also we have another point like how to write uh, the two points no need to write it like this we wrote it like a roca like this that's two point one point okay we use it like this 
for one point, like you can see it here. And we can see the two points here. Okay, so that's at the one that the word uh, at the one together. You can see how we can control the proportions and letters. Okay, it's just you know by practicing. You can see the beginning and the end. The end how it's to be thin line. Okay, and it's here thin line. Then it could be thick sometimes like here and here. So it's just by practicing you can control the width of pen. Just by controlling the width of pen you can write all styles. So don't write like, okay, I will write it without focusing on the width of pen. It's not nice. I cannot see the difference between here and here and here. No, it's not. That's not calligraphy. You can use it by writing by normal pencils or something like this. It's not calligraphy. This one, okay? Calligraphy. It's by using you know the, the most beautiful thing in calligraphy. This difference between the thin, thick, then thin line. So you have to practice how to use how to use it. So do you have any problem or question about how? That's actually so sick. Okay. Which one are you talking about this? <laughs> okay, because now I open the chat to read. Okay, so do you have any problem or a question about how to use the wet top pen? Because it's, it's everything. It's everything about calligraphy. If you don't understand this point, it's very hard to practice any time or to do anything, okay? So you can ask anything you need or anything you want about how to use the width of pen. You can ask. I'm waiting, I'm reading your questions. You can, you can write on the chat. Uh, you know this one that you just did? The better one. This one? No, the one on top. This one. Yeah. What is like the angle of the pen for that? About what? The angle of the pen. The angle. You know, it's uh, we, we don't have a specific angle like uh, 45 or something like this. You have just to control. It's according to, I, I say it's from the first lecture. It's proportional wise. It's not, we haven't uh, anything specific, just four points for nukta. All right. For nukta, okay, we have, okay, 45, then make it like this. That, okay, I will use another one. Because it's, but like writing 45, what the pen in 45 degree, and wrote like this. Okay. It's for a nukta, just for a nukta. But here it's proportional wise. We don't have a specific angle. Okay. But you can understand how, when can I use the width of pen? How can I make thin and thick lines? Yeah. Okay, that's the most important point. Right. Okay. Any other question? You can ask my friends, be active. You can ask, you can say anything, your, your opinion, your feedback in the chat. You can write anything in the chat, you can write anything, anytime. Um, hello, Assalamualaikum. Sorry, can you repeat again? Yeah, I just wanted to ask, um, we've got thinner pens, they're like the zebra ones. Um, they're not as thick as yours, but when we're trying to 
um, make the letters thick and thin. Um, it is hard to know how to hold the pen to do that. You know, I think because uh, because your pen that you bought pen, it's it's um, very thin or very small with a small hit, right? Yes, it, it's it's got, it's got the angle, but it's more. Yeah, yeah, it's small. So you have to make the letters smaller. The, you know, I make it big because I have a head big of pen. So I, I told you it's proportional wise. So if I, I have a small pen, I have to make smaller letters to control the proportions. That's the point. You get the point or not? No, uh, we've written smaller letters, um, but it's just... Um, knowing how to use the pen to get the thickness that you've got about the thickness you know uh, maybe yeah it's hard to you because it's very small maybe but it's you know it's how to use the pen like when i want to make uh, a thick line i'm trying to use the diagonal style or the diagonal side and row. I can write, okay? You can see here, I make a thick line. But when I want to make, <clears throat> I'm sorry, a thin line, I'm trying to use this side. Can you see it on the camera? The length. I don't need to use the width. You got the point? So I'm trying to make, okay, it's thin. I will not use the head. I will use the length to make thin lines like this. But when I want to make a thick lines, I use, I use the width, like this. So I can combine between them by like bar, I made like this. And like this. At the end, I use the length of Ben, but at the beginning, I use the width like this. Can you see the, my hand? Yes. Okay. So that's the same. I, I, here, watch my hand, please focus on it. Here, I use the width. At the end, I use the length. That's how I make thin and thick lines at the same time. So if you have a smaller band, it's the same, it's the same thing, but you have to focus. You can, you have to focus which side I'm using now and make the letters smaller to control the proportions. That's the point. Do you have any other questions? No, thank you. Jazakallah. You're welcome, thank you too. Okay, okay. Any other questions? Please, you can write anything on the chat. If you don't have any question, now we have a break. Yes, we can go for a break now. Yeah, okay. So the break, don't leave the session, just close your camera and your microphone and we can come back after 10 minutes. Yes. If you don't have any questions, if you have, please, you can write on the chat before, before, okay, break. You can write anything. Okay, I think you don't have any questions. So see you after the break. Before the break, actually, we learn a diwani. And you can write, and uh, now I will ask you some questions about a diwani. What is the difference between it and a ruh? You can please write on the chat. We have, we don't have a lot of time. Uh, you can answer quickly. You can ask, what is the difference between a diwani and a ruh? It's more decorative. Yes, thank you. Another question. Creative. Okay. Okay, nice. You can write another. Yes, all answers is correct till now. You can write more. 
for all the friends who you, you can write. Okay, okay. I'm reading. Okay, you can write. You can say a ruka is functional. It's harder. Okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's harder, but it's more uh, decorative because it's more decorative. A ruka, it's functional and simple. So now you can conclude that uh, we you have to practice more and more for a diwani. It's not like a ruka. A ruka, it's easy it's by writing. It's functional, simple. So it's easy. The easiest style a ruka actually. That's what. what why we started with the, with a ruqa. Diwani, it's more complicated, more decorative. Now we will learn khat al It's more and more harder. <laughs> it's harder than uh, a diwani. <coughs> a diwani has more curves. Yes, yes, no. Yes. Hmm. Any other answers? You can write your opinion. Maybe it's not a, a rule or something I said, but your opinion. What you saw, like the difference between the ruka and the diwani. <coughs> I'm sorry. You can write your opinion. I will give another one or two minutes to see your opinion. <coughs> <coughs> Can I ask a question? Of course, of course, you can ask. I I see that you can ask anything, anytime. Saliha, you can you can ask. You can write it in a chat, or you can talk. No problem. <coughs> Which type is the easiest to read? An nasikh Khat al nasikh That's why all Quran. Uh, they used khat al nasikh to uh, to read or to write khat al nasikh but it actually khat al nasikh it's like machines it's haven't a lot of let we say differentiation between thick thin lines something like this it's like machines it's easy to 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 read actually but the easiest to write a ruqa to write, to read and nasikh. Okay, okay. The diwani has unique shapes. Okay, yes, yes. It's, you, you, you can, uh, let you say, see, okay, that's a diwani from its shape. Yes, it's unique shapes, yes. Any other comments? Because we will start now with a thuluth. Okay. Can you all see the screen? <coughs> yes. Okay. So a thuluth, it's the hardest type in calligraphy. You know, it's for also for a professional, the guidelines and the proportion is very important. Like, how can I make the proportion of an elf? Okay, I will not write anything on the paper. I will, okay. Uh, now I will explain everything on the slide. After that, I will stop sharing the slides and we will practice together on the paper to make it easy to see and focus. So, okay, can you see the mouse while I'm explaining? 
Yeah, okay. So now we can see the alif. A thuluth is a style with uh, sharp forms. You can see the alif is very sharp. You can notice that. And it's proportional wise, you can see the letters we use nukta to control the proportions. You can see alif, seven points. We use seven nukta. And this curve here, we use just one nukta to control this curve. Also the curve is, you know, it's proportional wise. It's very important to control the proportions, especially in athulut. So um, experts, they know they reach a high level or they become professional by using uh, to write a thulus and control the proportions. If they control, if they can control all these proportions, okay, they are professional. But if they don't, they still beginners. So, but for you actually, I don't need to make it harder for you because I know just you, we start with calligraphy before two weeks. It's no need to make it very hard to you with all these proportions, like the curves and, but you can control just the, let me say the height and the width of letter. But the curve of each letter, it's, it's up to you, according to your eyes. It's proportional wise. Maybe it can be one, point or one nukta or one and a half, one and a quarter, uh, no, no problem, okay? Don't take it very hard or very, let me say, very complicated. Don't take it like this. Don't take it very serious because it's for professionals. You can write the, the main basics by the height and the width of each letter, according to what? According to the width of pen. That's the most important point. So if I have, uh, let me say a, a thick pen and a big pen, I will not write Aleph with this length. You ca you can you see the paper? I cannot use it like this, small. I will make it proportional wise, I think because according to the width of pen, the best height of alif, it's like this, according to the width of pen. So also the same, if I have a pen with a small head, I will not use it to write alif at all alif. It, it will be proportional wise, it's very, very, very thin. Okay, that's the point, how to control the height and the width of each letter according to the width of pen. Okay, let's start with a thuluth. A thuluth also, as we said, is sharp shapes. You can see ra here, ra. You know, it's very sharp. Also, you can see here, uh, we call this lam alif, lam alif, like this. Okay. Dal, you can see dal here. Dal in al ruqa it was very smooth, also in al diwani, very smooth. Here you can see it's sharp. You can see it here, okay, again here. And lam, you can see sharp edges, sharp uh, shapes. Okay, also in al alif, you, you, you can see in al diwani it was, I will write it again in al diwani. Look at a diwani, it's very smooth. But in, <coughs> I'm sorry, on a uh, thuluth, it's, it's sharp. Okay. <coughs> and actually, it's proportional wise, it should be seven points according to the height should be the height by seven nukta or seven points. <coughs> I'm sorry because my voice is not good today. 
Okay, so um, you can see also the opening here, uh, let me say in lam alif here, it should be four points. No need to make it like If I make it like this, by, by just two points, it's not nice. Maybe you can, you can also you have to make it the nearest proportion to the to this slide. Maybe okay if it's become three three and a half, no problem because it's almost four. But if it's four and you can make it by two or one and a half, something something like this, no, it's wrong. I told you we don't need to make it very complicated, but at the same time, at the same time. Keep the proportion, control them, okay? Um, also, as we said, for all styles, we, we say it in a roca, and I say it again in a diwani. Now I will say it again. It's the uh, guidelines, how to use guidelines also to control the width of pen now we just actually practicing each letter we write each letter according to the movement first movement second third fourth but all of them actually we trying to control the width of pen to write thick and thin lines that's everything in calligraphy if I can Control the width of pen, everything will be easy by practicing, of course. I will not say, okay, I can uh, see the, the difference. How can I make thick and thin line? I will not practice, no. Without you practicing, you cannot reach any level. Well, you will stuck in your place. You will say at the same level. You cannot be professional, you know, because it's very hard. Uh, practicing is everything in calligraphy okay so you can you ask anything anytime about this slide because I will stop sharing this slide I will stop it to focus on the practicing on paper so I will open the chat to see your questions if you have any question on the slide before closing it you can ask Okay, you have two minutes to ask. I'm checking the time. You can ask. If you don't have any question, you can write. No question. No question. No question. If three or four person write no question, I will complete without waiting two minutes. No question. Okay. Don't have any question. No question. Okay. No question. Okay, okay. So now we come back to the paper. You can see the paper. Okay. Here I draw a guideline to me. Should we need to draw the lines as shown in the picture to align with the proportions? Of course, the guidelines like this. You can use pencil uh, because no need. Okay, just a minute. Okay. Because no need to make a very thick lines as a guideline that will make it very bad you make the lines or the letters unclear so you can use pencil normal one to let we say to make your guidelines for me the most important one the horizontal line that's the most important one because the vertical one you have to control it by your hand you can use make a vertical but if you find it hard okay also you can write a vertical line but the height how can i control the height i don't know it's up to the width of pen we don't have let me say a specific height like okay draw five centimeters or seven i, I cannot say 
any specific number. It's according to the width of pin because it's proportional wise. It's different from each each pin to, to, to the other. Okay, that's the first point. Any other questions? I, because actually I'm asking you because I'm stopping and I open the chat to see it and to read your question because I cannot read at the same time while writing. So, okay. That's the first point, the guideline. As we said, we have a sharp lines or sharp edges for a thread. Okay, we say LF, LF, it's not totally straight. Okay, it's a straight up to here, but at the end it's become curve. We have a curve here, okay? This curve, the amount of this curve, it's one nukta. From this angle, okay, it's one nukta. The height of LF, it's seven points. We can see, okay, I will make one, two, okay, let's start from down. It's better to, okay, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so the height should be start from here. Okay, that's not right. If we start from the top, we have to start from our guideline. That's why we said it's guideline. It's to help me. I can start everything from the guideline. That was a mistake. Don't repeat it. Actually, I do it to you to make you aware that's wrong. Don't start from here. That's not a correct thing. Okay. So in LF, it's a combined shape. I don't know. I think I have to use different colors to make it clear. Okay. The first shape is this, like this. Okay. The second one, it's like a head for the elf. You can use it like this, start with the head of pen. Then make like this. Okay, that's elf in a truth. It's clear to you? Okay, yes. Yes, yes, okay. That's how to make a lift. Actually, I start with the proportions, guidelines, and then I, I, I analyze the shape in my mind, like I say, okay, a lift, we have combined shape. The first thing, the vertical shape, then we have this part, the head of a lift. That's the shape. Actually, uh, as you can remember in Ruqa, we made some, let we say, combination between letters to get uh, a combined letters. Li like Kaf, we make a combination between Alif and Ba, right? Because Ba, it, uh, okay, because Ba, it's, like this and elif we have elif okay so calf it should be like we have the this i will use different colors okay i will use this this part then I will use this one. We can see I can get the that's the first part of Elif. Then I will I will use this part of Ba. Then I will okay take. Calf. Can you see how I made calf? It's easy by analyzing the shapes. I, I said, how can I make this complicated shape? By using somehow 
alif like alif then i will use somehow the part of ba combining together make a fusion like a fusion between these two letters letters i get kaf okay it's easy but you know some letters it's hard it's need a lot of practicing like ha how can i make the care of ha so you can use uh, your pen you can make like a circle a pencil you can use a pencil okay make like here it should be uh, five points and this one it's it's ellipse somehow ellipse it's not circle actually so five nukta okay and this one should be three nukta to control the shape actually the shape of ha you can also as we said analyze the shape by using pencil or using like this before we draw it because actually and uh, it's very hard I told you it's according to proportions it's also hard somehow to professionals to to draw it or to do it so it's proportional wise it's very hard so you have to control it let control let me see it's here it should be five one two three four five you get it okay here it should be three okay one two three okay can you see it okay here we can start from here not from the beginning let we start from here okay then at the beginning i will make this did you see how we made this letter ha because ha it's ha and ain because they have the circular shape here the circular shape is the same for ha kha, ain, ain. we have also the same circular shape for all letters like ha kha, ain, ain. okay we have the same but the difference by the head of each letter so can you understand how we made this circular shape i will see i will open the chat okay yes yeah okay sorry i said yes she has seriously okay hana and hibayob okay so uh okay also you can see I will focusing every time at the same point how we make thin and thick lines at the same time that's the most important point how to make thick thin lines I don't need to see a letter with the same width like this I told you that's not calligraphy the most beautiful thing in calligraphy this thing how can i see difference between lines and it's a smoothly okay no need to see elif like this no need to see ba like this no okay you have to use the width of pen you have to control the proportions you have to control your pen how can i use the width or the length or the head when can i use 45 degree when can I write with straight you know also i i saw some okay i have some comments in arroka some people make elif like this watch if we if we suppose that our uh, guideline horizontal guideline some people wrote elif like this no it's not totally 45 degree 45 it's just four point alif it should be vertical but in a rock bit diagonal it's like this okay 
It's not like this, 45, no. 40, 45 degrees just for, <clears throat> for the point, for nukta. We use it for nukta, just for nukta, 45, okay? Aleph, it's straight, okay? And I sent to you a picture for all letters. While writing and practicing, please keep the image of this slide um, on you uh, or while writing keep looking to this slide okay look to this slide don't forget it just now now for me i'm using laptop okay laptop it's i'm looking to laptop at the same time i'm writing that's the best way i i cannot depend on my mind even a professional they don't do that they looking to letters to control the proportion to make everything under control. I cannot start from my mind. Okay, sometimes, okay, I'm writing from my mind, but actually, while making technical, technically practicing, I'm talking about technically practicing, especially for beginners. Maybe, okay, inshallah, you will be better than me for uh, one, two or three months. After three months, inshallah, I hope. I pray to you to be better than me. But I'm, I'm giving you advices how to do that. Okay? No. I don't... Sorry? Someone say that. Okay. So is, this advice is, is not to depress you. It's, it's just to make you... You're practicing more professional. Technically practicing. Okay? Uh, okay, I also, I, I now I'm, I remembered another thing from your pictures. Okay, while making guidelines, don't make this effect on your writing, like to make it um, rough, like I will use while analyzing shape like this, then I would write Okay, something like, I have something like this here. No, that's not nice, not good. So wh while writing and making guidelines and while analyzing the shape, use a pencil or something hidden. Somehow it's hidden. I will not see it after making the letter, okay? Keep the letters smooth. And also uh, keep the proportions, especially now for a thulut. Uh, I will share on the group the slides and I will give you homework. You know, it's up to you. How many times you will practicing the letters, but if you do more, it's better for you. It's not, uh, I will not, okay, minimum, minimum three times. But if you do more than this, it will be better for you to be professional in the shortest time. It's about, I told you, it's about practicing. If you control the main, the basics, how can I control the width of pen? How can I use guidelines? How can I make the proportions? Okay, then everything is easy by practicing. Practice, practice, practice. Also, when you write, use a white papers. Without lines, you have to make your guidelines, okay? Because I saw some friends do it. Oh, okay. On uh, papers, normal papers, it's not, it's not nice. And that confuse you while writing. But if you have paper like this, empty paper, white. You can write and draw your guidelines. But if I have another line here, another line here, another line here, I will be confused. I cannot uh, focus on my guidelines. Okay. Do you have any question? I will open the chat. You can ask because I think we have just uh, another five minutes, I think. You can ask, we have uh, five minutes.
Um, it's not about the actual writing, but you know the calligraphy pens that like the professionals actually write with, the bamboo ones. Uh, you talk about uh, bamboo pens? Yeah. Have you got any? Actually, you know, it's um, we use it with ink. We use it as, you know, it's not uh, like this. Like, like this, it's film. Yeah, I can use it. Um, how much I can? I, I can use it now to write like this. Okay. When I using bamboo pen, I have let me say maybe just make like this. Then I have to go to ink to refill it. Then oh, yeah. I come here. Then refill it. You know, it's just for a professional because they can start from the last point without making any mistakes like refill okay, okay then start yeah. refill. now for us we can make a lot of mistakes here while uh, start again and again so it's while uh, when you can understand okay i'm now i'm professional i can control the proportions everything i can control all details okay you can yeah. start with bamboo pens and uh, but now uh, to be honest now it's um, not appropriate to you i'm sorry to say that i'm, I'm sorry yeah. but because you start just before uh, two weeks with calligraphy mm -hmm. so no need to start with bamboo pen because it's very hard yeah have you got any you like to show us actually i have but in jordan <laughs> not oh. my, i'm now i'm living in turkey i oh, don't have okay. Okay, thanks. Okay, welcome. Can you repeat? Which? Repeat what? Any question? Guys, are you here? <laughs> you can ask anything because we have, that's our last session maybe. And uh, we have just three minutes. <laughs> so you have to ask to say your opinion, anything, no question anymore. Well, nice, nice to hear that. <laughs> So I am I am excited to see your applications, how, what you will do. I I will check WhatsApp uh, group every time. You can send your work. Um, actually, I started since I was child, but I don't know the exact time. It's by practicing, because I I, I take it like a hobby. I I I'm, enjoying my time with calligraphy. I don't have any target to learn, let, let me say, to learn calligraphy by one year or two months. Actually, it's for fun. I start for fun, actually, since I was a child. Seeing newspaper where they, we have, they have calligraphy, i trying to repeat it, to imitate it. I just like this, actually, but by practicing, daily practicing, actually, I reached to this level. Do you do calligraphy as a hobby or a profession? Till now as a hobby, to be honest. I don't use it as a profession because my profession is I'm architect. I'm an architect actually. So but um sometimes I trying to let me say to use calligraphy in architecture because it's related topics but I don't use it as uh, let me say poor, pure profession as uh, selling uh, some artworks or something like this. No, as a hobby till now. <laughs> okay. Uh, are you gonna do any more classes? What? Are you going? Are you gonna do any more classes? I d didn't get the point. Please, if you can write it on the chat. Okay.
what are you doing with the doing theory rafi was it in a class or not actually i start i didn't start any class i it's self learning actually by imitating and uh, simulating some... actually you know regarding this question uh, i will let you know about further details uh, about you know uh, now this is just an experimentation uh, project like we had uh, scheduled for three sessions only so uh, we are planning to get your uh, reviews after uh, feedbacks and after that we will decide and we will make um, further more uh, kind of programs apart from this but we will stop our sessions here unfortunately mm-hmm. okay yeah that's clear okay any other questions about any uh, anything else nope see of course uh, if you people majority of you want to continue this session uh, we won't continue this session we will make another program for uh, someone of you some for somebody of you after getting your feedbacks we will think about that and we will let you know about that don't worry about that we will uh, decide it after a discussion with our organizers uh, and we will let you know in our groups okay Okay, nice. So okay then. Mm-hmm. Okay, Khalil. Uh, Khalil, you can inform them okay, about. Okay, okay, guys, if you don't have uh, much more uh, things to discuss with our master, if you have, you can say your compliments, your experience. You can share your experience, uh, your thoughts uh, with your masters now, if you have any. Otherwise, we will wind up, and I have some more instructions for you. before concluding our session do you have any comments to your master any more okay mother sim you have some. what is what is the hardest calligraphy you mean style the hardest style is athluth the hardest el kufi okay el kufi it's, it's uh, somehow hard but it's technical but athluth it's the hardest but it's you know it's uh, in general but for every person it's up to maybe to me maybe i will find uh, let me say kufi uh, it's harder but in general in general everybody saying athluth it's the hardest but it's up to you maybe you can find according to your abilities athluth it's easy maybe it's according to your abilities but it's the hardest they saying that at the least it's the hardest one but by, i will say it by practicing you will not find anything hard any other question i will wait your uh, practicing and your artwork on the group actually <laughs> i will uh, on whatsapp group i will check every time to see your artworks take it as a uh, not as a homework take it as a artwork you doing an artwork okay to to get the best results can you send some bits of your works okay of course and i uh, also you can uh, check my social media accounts if you need okay uh, uh, but also i will share on the group on whatsapp group no no problem because actually i'm sharing my artworks on social media so you can check it there if you want you are welcome If you want okay i will write here my account on instagram if you want to check okay okay guys any more comments if you have 
If you don't have, we can conclude now. Okay. I think Khalil, you can okay, okay. talk about the competition. Okay, okay. Uh, Okay, thank you so much, Mothersim, for your valuable time and your uh, dedication and your uh, nice uh, effort for our kids. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Also, I appreciate you guys. You are you are so you are amazing people uh, with the amazing dedication and patience to uh, have to learn this out of calligraphy. I appreciate that. Really amazing. So. Uh, you know, unfortunately, we have only scheduled for three uh, sessions that we are concluding here now. Uh, after getting your feedbacks, we will think about the further programs. Maybe in maybe under another title or another schedule, we will have we will may continue. After getting your feedbacks for that, we will share a link in our WhatsApp group. Uh, you can uh, mark your comments on that, your feedbacks. So as we mentioned in our poster, uh, we will have a, a small competition uh, in uh, related to this session, related to this campaign. So it's like that. It's not kind of a uh, professional competition. Until now, you have developed some of your uh, skills. Based on your skills, you can produce your best works uh, and you can choose one of your best work and you can share. Uh, we will uh, tell you about the further details where you can upload your uh, competitions, uh, your works for the competition and we will announce a winner among you and we, you will have a reward after that. So uh, regarding the competition, uh, this is your phrase word, Arabic phrase word. Uh, you can relate it, to, you can choose a phrase word related to Ramzan, maybe like Ramzan Karim, Ramzan Mubarak, you can choose a uh, Arabic phrase and you can make your own artworks and you can uh, practice and your best work you can uh, that you have produced you can upload uh, the site we are mentioning uh, further in our WhatsApp group. Uh, that's the thing uh, that's about the competition. Also you can discuss about uh, if you have any more doubt about the competition you can discuss about you can discuss in our group WhatsApp group. Uh, and also, uh, you, we will produce, we will uh, give you participation certificate at the end of the session, actually. Uh, the session is over, but we will have our WhatsApp group, maybe for one more week, for all these kind of procedures, you know, the competition and giving you the participation certificates. Maybe you, we will uh, send you via email or uh, personally to your uh, WhatsApp account, we will uh, Anyway, we will give you all the details about this in WhatsApp group for the details. Thank you so much. And again, thank you so much for your uh, kind participation, kind dedication, <laughs> and your patience, your courage to learn this uh, great art of calligraphy. Thank you so much. Uh, Actually, okay. I, I will share, I'm sorry, I will share just okay. one uh, photograph mm -hmm. for my work for Ramadan for the last year. Maybe okay, okay, you can. They, they can see just as an example, no need to copy it, just okay, as okay. example. Okay. okay, it's for Ramadan for the last year. I, yeah. I made this one. It's according to the shape of Hila, the shape of moon. It's just an example for Ramadan. You can, you can make anything, be creative. You can do everything. Okay, so that was an example. You can do everything, the best of luck in the competition. Thank you, Khalil. Thank you, guys. It's nice yeah, to talk to you. It's also nice with you. Okay, guys, do you have any comments or anything to add up? Any questions? Otherwise, we will wind up or we will discuss further things in our group. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. Okay, that's that's so valuable for your comments. I appreciate that. Okay, anyway, we are winding up now. We will have further discussions in our group. Wa akhir dhuwana alhamdulillah bil alamin. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam.